109 to go in the game. We're tied at 29. AJ goes in motion. Man to man. Shotgun snap. Tyree in the pocket. Fires to the middle. It's caught. AJ breaks a tackle at the 20. At the 15. At the 10. At the 5. Still going. Look at him go. Go line. Bullseye. It's a Buffalo touchdown. Anthony Johnson when you need him the most. 59 seconds to go. A 29 yard score to the All American Anthony Johnson. Well, hi, everybody. Welcome to this Bulls digital update from Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia following the Bulls 36-29 win over the Temple Owls. I'm voice of the Bulls, Paul Peck, with radio color analyst Scott Wilson. We did a lot of talking today. I did a lot of yelling. You did, too. But here I am at a loss for words to describe an incredible victory for the Bulls. This was a show-the-world game. We fought that before it. They showed a lot of the football world as this game went on. Yeah, a lot of toughness. They had to prove it against a really quality opponent and more importantly, even on the road. They come into a hostile environment. Temple really needed this game. They had a lot of stress this week after last week's loss. But man, every time Temple tried to get the upper hand, every time that you thought, gee, maybe the momentum is switching back to Temple, the offense came on the field and had big, long, devastating drives to get the momentum back or the defense came out and made some big plays. Cam Lewis today, two of the biggest plays of the game with interceptions, kind of gets overshadowed after the big one there with under a minute to go, but still really important interceptions. There were so many heroes. Cam Lewis was one of them. Yep. Chuck Harris was another one of them. Kevin Marks, the unknown redshirt freshman who runs for 138 yards, but and Tyree Jackson, but there is no bigger hero in this game than Anthony Johnson. Not just for the winning touchdown, but for what he did to overcome an incredible personal tragedy that he learned about the night before the game. Game. He barely played in the second half until the Bulls needed him the most, and he went out and pulled off one of the signature plays in UB school history. No one really knew about what he was going through, and like you said, the personal tragedy that he was really suffering with the last 24 hours. And for him to come out and play through it, and not only play through it, but play brilliantly when he was able to get in that game and make that final play. It's unbelievable, and it's just another sign that we're in the midst of a really special team and a really special season. Yeah, incredible admiration for Anthony and our condolences. Yeah. All of the Bulls family gives their condolences to Anthony on what he had to go through, but here you go. 2-0 and for the Bulls for the first time since 1983, first time ever in FBS. All of a sudden, the MAC opener against Eastern Michigan on Saturday <laughs> is a battle of the undefeateds. Boy, I can't wait. Yeah, next week, Eastern Michigan coming off of a big last second win of their own on the road at West Lafayette against Purdue, getting a win over the Big Ten uh, opponent. Two teams undefeated, both coming off of weeks where they flew the flag on the road. And this is going to be a huge MAC tilt at UB Stadium yeah, next week. We will see you there. Six o'clock kickoff on Saturday, the Bulls and the Eagles. That'll do it from an amazing day here at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia. Thanks for joining us on this Bulls Digital Update. Yeah.